Hey everyone, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. Thank you so much for being here today, and I just um, I just sense that God wants to do something cool today in your heart and to release you from something that maybe He's been binding you. So we are in Acts chapter 5, verses 27 through 42 in the ESV, the English Standard Version of the Bible, and this is what it says. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest questioned them, these are the apostles, saying, We strictly charged you not to teach in this name, yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses to these things. And so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they were enraged and wanted to kill them. But a Pharisee in the council named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, held in honor by all the people, stood up and gave orders to put the men outside for a little while. And he said to them, Men of Israel, take care what you are about to do with these men. For before these days Thutis rose up, claiming to be somebody, and a number of men, about four hundred, joined him. He was killed, and all who followed him were dispersed and came to nothing. After him, Judas the Galilean rose up in the days of the census and drew away some of the people after him. He too perished, and all who followed him were scattered. So in the present case, I tell you, keep away from these men and let them alone, for if this plan or this undertaking is of man, it will fail. But if it is of God, you will not be able to overthrow them. You might even be found opposing God. So they took his advice, and when they had called in the apostles, they beat them and charged them not to speak in the name of Jesus, and let them go. Then they left the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for the name. And every day in the temple and from house to house they did not cease teaching and preaching Jesus as the Christ. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, what stood out to me today as I was reading this passage was this idea that if it is of man it will come to nothing, And if it is of God, it will bring much fruit. And Lord, I know as someone who is very justice-oriented, when I see an injustice happening, or I see maybe someone claiming the name of Christ who's harming the children of God, um, of course it's right to speak up and to do whatever we can to expose people who are uh, wolves in sheep's clothing, absolutely. But sometimes we can even try to do that and it doesn't work. But this scripture reminds us that if this is of their own flesh and in their own doing and their own predation, then it will come to nothing eventually. So Lord, help those um, who are struggling with that kind of thing. And maybe I'm the only one that struggles with that, but help us to realize that man's efforts will come to nothing. And we can rest in knowing that you will thwart those who are harming your children. And Lord, I thank you that um, Gamaliel demonstrated some wisdom here. And I thank you for the wisdom that you gave him in that moment of what to do with the apostles. But it is interesting that even though he gave that information, they still beat the apostles. And we kind of just run over that verse. Um, it says, they, when they had called in the apostles, they beat them and charged them not to speak. And uh, beating is actually not very much fun. And And what I love about their response is they were so excited. They left the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer for the name. Lord, help us to have that kind of attitude today, that we would count it, that we would rejoice counting it a privilege to suffer for your name. When someone stands against us because we are Christians, help us to rejoice knowing that the glory of God rests upon us, that all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will be persecuted, that it's a sign that we are yours when we are persecuted. And so help us to rejoice in that and not to just jump to the doldrums, but to jump to worship. Lord, we choose to worship you come what may. We choose to speak in your name even when we are opposed. And we cannot do this by our bootstraps, Lord, or our own strength. We only can do this by the power of the Holy Spirit. Would you empower my friends today? 
to walk boldly into their lives and to demonstrate the Holy Spirit's kindness and goodness to the people around them today, I pray. Amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. I totally appreciate you. And I hope that today is a day that God's word is live and active in your heart, that you will just fall in love with reading the scriptures because it truly is the best thing to do to start your day and to end your day. So find a little passage and read it and be blessed.